Welcome back to Snoo and Dom. Uh, That's both of us. This is part one in our Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut series. Snock Venture. That is a long name for a game. I know. Why is there no and knuckles? I don't know. There's just no and knuckles. I'm going to, in my mind, I'm going to imagine an and knuckles. Please don't. No, I will, though. I mean, you get to play as Knuckles in this game because it's it's surprisingly long. Eh, eh, yeah, eh, eh. <laughs> We're gonna play this. I have not played this. Actually, Snoo's gonna play this. I haven't played this on a GameCube in so long. I have never done so and <laughs> will not play it now. I know because it's my playthrough. It is. Snoo does this while well, I don't have to do this. Jack Squad! Yeah, but it's like, I don't have to be involved other than hanging out with the Snoo. Yeah, because it's fun, and then sometimes there's Kate. Yeah, that also is good. Which hopefully will also happen today. I hope so. Now saving. Still going. So much saving. Okay, there we go. Adventure. Okay, is that what kind yeah. we're doing? Yeah. G give me a comparison between what those mean. Uh, trial mode is just like time trials where you compare your times. And mission, I think, is specific mission select. Okay. That's what I know. So what is adventure, though? Uh, adventure's the main story. Okay. You don't get to choose what you play. What just, character will you be? You can only be Sonic at first. So. Why was there Tails then? Uh, there's all the characters. You get to see them, but you don't get to pick them until oh. you unlock them. Okay, fair Through enough. Sonic Story. Screw you, Tails. Yeah, Tails. Yeah. He's like Sludgy the Possum. He's exactly like Sludgy the Possum, except his name is Sonic. He's a hedgehog and doesn't Nope, I'm trash. talking about Tails. Well, he, his name is Tails. He's a fox and doesn't eat trash. But, does he belong on Team Sonic? Tails does. Also, he these, doesn't eat any trash. These police are stupid because this thing just popped out of the sky and they're like, You're completely surrounded. Surrender yep. yourself. I don't know why they were right there when he decided to spawn in. I'm sure they will de-escalate this situation. Maybe. And incarcerate the culprit. With he, nothing going wrong. He's made of water. I don't know if you can tell, but he's made completely of water and has a brain. Yeah, but he's completely surrounded. Those are supposed to be bullets. Okay, they disappeared. Those were supposed to be bullets. Did you miss the completely surrounded part? I did not miss the completely surrounded part. So I assume this is well in hand. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Everything's going to go great. It will not, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm watching um, uh, Die Hard, but we're not at Nakatomi Plaza. I don't compare Sonic to Bruce Willis. I was just thinking Peralta might like it. Uh, I don't know how much Peralta likes Sonic Adventure. I bet he's never played it. I bet he has. I don't know. Since there's no way to prove that either way... It's really low stakes for me to bet that. Yes, it is. There's no money involved. <laughs> Same for you, though. Like, you're just, you're just betting that he hasn't. And you, you don't know that to be true, either. Hit it. Okay, all right. We did it. Four minutes in. And oh, my God. What, what did we do? We beat the water thing, and it's going to come back later. Oh, See, I thought we were screwed here, was, was no, the implication. No, it's the very beginning of the game. They're not going to screw us over here. Okay. It's very 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Could we change that? No. Really? I don't think you can. Okay. Oh, because GameCube. GameCube. All right. Fair enough. He went into a grate because, if you, if you couldn't tell already, he's made of water. That... That all makes sense now. Water. Mm -hmm. I skip the cutscene with Eggman. I keep doing that. Water, it's very wet. Water. And it surrounds islands. Many people don't know this, but water's wet. Yeah, you know, here's some paper towels. Free throw. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go find Tails. 
All right. I don't know why. Why do we need to, though? Uh, because he crashed his plane and I keep skipping cutscenes. I need to stop doing that because you've never played the game before. I never have, and I never will. <laughs> you're just going to watch me play it. Uh-huh, because you're my snoo. There was Tails. Yeah, there was Tails. I died. <laughs> oh, ran right past him. I know I was supposed to hit the spring. Okay. It's going to go well this uh, time. It may be if I hit the spring, you know, like a normal person, or my homing attack is supposed to work correctly. Why are you not supposed to stop and talk to Tails? He's not here yet. He's way farther into the stage. No, he was right there. No, he wasn't. That was an enemy that looked orange. Really? Yes. Oh. That's lame. It is lame, because Tails isn't here, and he's the one you're supposed to save. But look at my snoo doing Sonic things. I'm doing Sonic things. I'm going to go as slow as possible, because I heard there's a glitch. Okay. Where? Okay, it's not. Are you trying to avoid the glitch, or make it happen? I'm trying to make it happen. Okay. Alright, so I died without any reason there, <laughs> and I think it was because of a collision glitch. Okay. So maybe you should speed up then. I... Yeah, I will. <laughs> okay, just saying. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we're gonna outrun an orca. I do that daily. I do that daily too. I think Sonic's not pulling enough of his weight. I agree. Are we supposed to be impressed by that? Like... We're not supposed to be suppressed by, uh... Impressed? Impressed by anything Sonic does. He's a hedgehog that is capable of breathing in space. He's a hedgehog who has shoes, though. Yeah, shoes that look like hot dogs. Those are the perfect shoes to have. The, the best shoes. Tremendous. Many people are saying... Many people are saying... <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be any dumber than what he actually says. Yeah. Come on, get in the hole. No! <laughs> I have to go back and do that again because it's harder to go the normal route. Come on, get in the hole! No. Stop. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> Am I, though? Yes. You said that, not me. I said get in the hole as a rational person. You said, come on, get in the hole. I... But I didn't say it like Hulk Hogan. I... You didn't think it was creepy, though? You didn't think it was a creepy thing to say? I thought about it being creepy, but I at least didn't make myself clear that I was saying it creepily. Get in the hole. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Just gonna go the normal way because you're gonna keep saying it. <laughs> only, only until everyone gets in the hole. No! Just, no one is getting in the hole. Just get in there. Duh! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Cram them in there if they don't comply? I, I have no plan to follow up on that. I think you do based on your tone. I don't know. Get in there! Stop! <laughs> No one is getting in the hole uh, by your words. You should stop saying that, then. I'm not saying it. You're the one saying it. Oh, I'm not the originator of that phrase. Duh. Am I? There are other people that have said that that were not me. Yeah, and it also not me. They were talking about Sonic Adventure. And they said, get in the hole. No, oh, they didn't. <laughs> not like that. They said it in the creepiest way possible, I assume. Do you happen to have a white van somewhere? I, I just, I assume that they said it in the creepiest way possible, which is creepier than the way I said it. No, I think the way you said it is the creepiest way anyone could have said it. Nah! Nah. There's Tails, finally. Oh, oh what? Hooray! Not hooray. He's kind of whiny in this one. Hmm. Like, all of his cutscenes are about him whining about something that doesn't matter. 
So is there a sludgy mod? There, there are many mods for Sonic Adventure DX. This is a sludgy's not one of them. Yeah. Well, okay. So no. No. Then. Yeah. No. I didn't ask about non-sludgy related mods. Yes, but I think you would like to know if there were non-sludgy related mods. Not when I just asked if there were sludgy related mods. Okay. No. Thank you. What? No, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't repeating what you were. No, I just, I wanted a no, because that's the accurate answer. Well, then I mean yes. But there aren't, so that's wrong. But I'm going to lie about it. Wow, liar. Liar, Snoo. I'm a liar, though. Wow, liar, Snoo. All right, that's the thing now. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just deal with that as a parent. Da. My Snoo. My da. Hi. Hi. There's this random girl by herself. Standing at a train station. Looking like an anime character. All of the NPCs look like anime characters. Without question. Are you going to have to run backwards up this stairway to go through a wall or something? Duh! It's <laughs> not Mario 64! <laughs> I'm just asking if that's what I need to buckle in for. No. Okay. No, no. Meantime, Snoo is playing the heck out of this game. I'm playing it. Tails' workshop should be around here somewhere. What is Tails' job? He's an eight-year-old that also knows quite a fair bit about <laughs> mechanics. <laughs> okay. Sign me up. Oh, there's Egg Boy. Look at him. He's... Terrible. Egg boy? I'm calling him Egg Boy. Alright, I'm fine with that. What are you wearing on your wrist? Oh, it's a copper bracelet. Oh my god, I've never seen you wear anything close to that. No, I know, I, uh, I took Granddad to get his second uh, immunization shot today for COVID-19. And for some reason, they were, they were selling these at the drugstore, and I was like, that's kind of cool, I'm going to get that. Okay, but why though? Oh, uh, oh, allegedly it has some sort of medical benefits. I'm not sure I'm all in on that. Yeah, of but, course you're not. But look, though, it's cool. It's, sure, tell yourself whatever you want. You know I look good. No, you don't. I'm making it work. You're making not that work. Uh, hater. You're, hater. You're not making it work. Hater. Especially if you're the over the age of 25, because then you look even more like a D-bag. Oh, I, I look good. <laughs> you do not. I look fan frickin tastic Anyone that wears anything close to gold chains, I don't trust. Gold chains? It looks like gold chains, but you just put it on your wrist. <laughs> what? That's what it looks like. I'm not a Greek man wearing gold <laughs> chains or a something. Greek man. It's uh, what I assume I would be. I don't know, man. Why are you hating? I'm um, hating because it looks weird. You need to try this thing. It's fantastic. I think it would hurt to it wear does, that on your wrist. It doesn't, though. Yeah, but just, I don't know. I don't know what Mommy would think if she saw you wearing that. Uh... Nothing? Okay. I mean, what do you think she would think? I don't know. It's just a weird bracelet. Is it weird, though, or is it just a bracelet? It's it's weird. It looks like it's gold. Like I said, I don't trust people that wear things that look like gold chains. It's clearly copper. Is it because of the low light? It's, the, it's because of the low light. But... All right, it's copper. No, but I'm saying not specifically gold chains. I'm saying related to gold chains. If you're wearing copper, that's even weirder. It makes you look vintage or something. No, it just means I'm not tacky. Like if no, I were wearing gold. No, that looks tacky. No, gold is tacky. Copper is tackier. Kate, we have Kate. Oh my God! Just Yay. in the nick of time. Oh my God! I didn't know if you were gonna be here. And Snoo was busy oh. insulting me until you got here. So <laughs> now no, we can... he he has a copper wrist uh, bracelet, and it looks weird. I'm telling you, but also, I'm really glad you're here. I was worried a bit. Hello, Kate. Welcome. Welcome back. I'm actually really happy. Hugs. Glad to see you. And you came here for a good playthrough, which is nice. So, do you have power right now? 
or are you like uh, draining the last of your battery to tune into a Snoo and Da live stream, which I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, I mean, we're super entertaining. <laughs> yeah, Snoo hates copper. Because it looks tacky on you, I'm serious. Whatever, man. I'm making it work. No, you're not. Anytime someone says they're making it work, they're just making an excuse for the fact that it doesn't work. Fine, I'm bringing sexy back. You are... It is back. You are not JT. It is back thanks to me. You are not apparently cyberpunk guy. You have, uh, something? It is a wind crystal, I think. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I wasn't... My bracelet is rocking. You're jealous. I am not jealous in the slightest bit. I was gonna get you one, but I guess I won't. Why would I want one? I've pretty much never worn a bracelet and had it on for more than two days. They're fantastic. It doesn't look fantastic. Do I look like I give a shit? Kinda. I'm your no. own son. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care on that one, though. Yeah, but you should. Why? It doesn't, I, it just doesn't work. I'm but telling you this. The day that I need to seek advice from a 13-year-old <laughs> on any subject, I need to educate myself more. Duh. So there you go. You need me to tell you things about Sonic, so... No, you need me to tell... You, I need you to tell me things that 14-year-olds or 13-year-olds would think. Yeah, which is that? That your bracelet doesn't look good on you. Oh my god, how am I going to get a 14 or 13-year-old girlfriend now? That just makes you sound creepy and a pedophile. No, it points out how ridiculous your criticism is. Duh. Just, no. <laughs> I'm telling you, that bracelet does not look good. I don't care. And I'm saying I do care. Well, tough titty. Wow, I've never heard that before. Now you have. Yeah, from my dad. You've heard the hell out of it. The hell out of it. All of that hell I've heard. Can we get back to Kate now? Fine, let's get back to Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey, how are you doing? You better not be wearing a bracelet, because Snoo will be all up in your business. No, if it's a, if it's a, if it's a copper bracelet that doesn't look good in any light condition, ever. You've only seen it in the dark. I have seen it with my own eyes. I can tell you it doesn't in look good. In the dark. Don't comment on other lighting conditions. No! You have no data When we that. have a snack... Hush! <laughs> Kate says, I have power and water, and Boomer just joined me, and I am glad to be here. I'm surprised, because Snoo is just way out of line here. Jesus um, Christ. She says, I was a bit sleepy, so barely heard the notification. Anyway, wow, this bracelet... I know, right? No, send a picture of it to her through Discord. She needs to see it. Uh, you know, she should be so lucky. So lucky about what? It's a delightful bracelet. It is, no, it's not good. I'm telling you, man. Dude, I am not susceptible to peer pressure from prepubescence. You... I admit, kids have terrible fashion sense. I, yeah, I just, you know what, on my appearance, I don't care what you think. No, but like, this is the only time that you are allowed to take a fashion thing from a kid. Why would I want to? Because it doesn't work. Kids have roller skate shoes, for Christ's sake. Yeah, but I'm not one of those kids. I don't dress like a D-bag. Neither do I. Yeah, but at least that bracelet. Okay. Really? you chosen to die on this hill? Well, I have, and I'm not getting off of it. It's like wow. the Schwarzenegger argument. Because I'm planning to die on any hill I see fit. Yes, I respect your choice. <laughs> <laughs> but your opinion is wrong. Yeah, you die on whatever hill you want. I mean, who am I to say you shouldn't? It's your life. Kate says, let's talk about how Sonic runs so fast. He runs really fast. I'm just not good at controlling him. I was very excited to do a Sonic game finally because Da doesn't want to play any of the Sonic games, and I really, really do. Yeah, I will not be competing for play time with Sonic. That is true. I think 
I don't know how to play a single Sonic game. You hold forward or right. That, I also don't want to know Duh, how I'm to play a single I'm, Sonic I'm game. I'm telling you it because you should know. Uh, Kate says, you think he has little propellers on the back of his shoes? Like a beanie propeller? I want to know that too. Maybe. Alright, so Kate does have power, water, and cats, which are all the basic staples of life. Yeah. Um, so that sounds like everything is more or less in order there. How about Ted Cruz's vacation to Cancun, uh, native Texan? Are you happy with your representation? <laughs> also, Craig Abbott, uh, trying to make their failure about green energy. Please it's, stop talking about the two people I hate most right uh, now. <laughs> really? You, Greg Abbott is in your top two? Well, he's in my top two at this current week, <laughs> just because of everything that's been going on. That's probably fair. He will fade away at some point, but he is an idiot. Here, here is my take on Texas Governor Greg Abbott. How the hell does he not have a lieutenant governor with the last name Costello? So they could be Abbott and Costello. Oh, no. The governors of Texas, because that's what it should frickin' be at this point. It wouldn't be sillier if that happened. You need to read the, Kate, the chat that Kate said. Also, are you in raw sewage now? Yes, I'm in the sewer. Where is Sludgy when you need him? Okay, let's see here. Kate says, oh my god, effing Ted Cruz. Yeah. yeah for sure. We yeah. were just talking about, uh, in the latest Reddit thread, uh, about stuff like the green energy excuse. Yeah. It was a very long discussion, but I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it was. So yeah, that's ridiculous, but I'm still, uh, I'm still campaigning for Abbott and Costello as governor and lieutenant governor of Texas, and I really don't care who Costello is, just anyone with that last name, who could run on the ticket with Greg Abbott? Because <laughs> at least it would be funny then. At least it would be funny. Yeah. Not absolutely useless. Uh, Kate says, I know that's too many... Asterisks. Asterisks, but I don't care. It spells that word anyway. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Because, you know, he needs that many asterisks, if not more. <sighs> Let's see here. Oh, he's going to look something up. I'm going to Google something. I wonder what it could be. Also, Kate, I know I literally just said this, but I did have fun talking to you earlier. It was nice, because I don't have a mode of uh, talking like that with you usually. Unless it's through Reddit. Alright. So, Texans... Here's your, here's your opportunity. There is a politician from Pennsylvania named Ryan Anthony Costello. Oh. Now, if you could get Ryan Costello to move to Texas and run with Greg Abbott to be his lieutenant governor, then you could finally have the Abbott and Costello government the Texans have always voted for. <laughs> so... That's your chance. Get Ryan Costello from Pennsylvania to move to where you live. In the meantime, Kate says Scooter could do that job better than Abbott or Cruz. Freaking morons, I swear. And yeah, that was fun, Snoo. Talking to the Snoo. You should definitely read it. I think we should read it on stream, actually. Well, maybe we will then. <clears throat> oh, I got a new power-up. You are in a, a sky laser. I'm in a sky laser. Okay, and also Sonic is weird because he's a hedgehog that's blue and sentient. Yeah. I don't think I needed to mention that. He's also a rolling sphere. He's a rolling sphere. Okay, Casino Ken. I love it. I love it too, because Casino can. But mostly, I love the snoo. I love the dog. You hate my bracelet. 
I do. I don't care. I care. <laughs> oh god, that bracelet thing vaguely reminds me of when Far Raiders got super mad at Harry Styles for wearing a dress and posing with it on Vogue. Wow, what a sad life they live. I know! Like, that, was, like, that was super in the news. It's they like, literally have nothing better to do with their time than care what Harry Styles is wearing. And they said he wasn't a man, even though... But that's like a super gay thing to care about. Yeah! Why do you care what fashion Harry Styles is wearing? What? Uh, they got mad because they're too insecure of their own masculinity. Pretty much. I mean, that's how all of it goes. But yeah, I was, uh, I was just watching a lot of videos about stuff like that recently. And just because I'm an old guy, who exactly is Harry Styles again? I hear his name periodically. He was, uh, one of the pretty boys from One Direction. One Direction, okay. Yes. They have a good song that I like. I, uh listen to One Direction at all and don't really care to. I don't know. You don't know you're beautiful. It's a good song. It is, but that's the only song I know them for, and then they almost got sued by The Who because they stole the Baba O'Reilly lick. I think I've talked about this before. Uh, if you have, I missed it, and I don't recall hearing that in that song. Uh, yeah. They stole it for their song, Best Day Ever. Mm. And it sounded exactly like it. Okay. I've never heard that song. Uh, let's see here. Kate says, oh, what made everything worse yesterday for me was that I hurt my back. Uh, I am absolutely fine. Things still hurt, but I just slipped because everything was dark and maybe the cold didn't help either. So I was mad all day. Well, I don't blame you. That sucks. Mm. Uh, she also says... So I'm extra happy to be here tonight and to be warm, and we are happy about both of those things, too. Yeah. That is very good news. I had kind of a shitty day myself yesterday, but uh, today was a little better. Not without difficulties, but uh, on the highest note of the day, uh, I did take my dad for his second shot of the Pfizer vaccine. Dana, I was going to mention that at some point. Yeah, so my dad is officially as vaccinated uh, as you can get right now. Uh, he's 84, about to turn 85 in less than a month. Yeah, nearly my birthday. So that is fantastic news. Um, and he was very appreciative because now within a week or, you know, two weeks, give or take, we'll be able to hang out with him again, hopefully, have him over to the house and stuff. Um he is a widower, so he has been very much alone during the pandemic. Other and, than his cats. Well, yeah, that's not quite the same. But, uh, yeah, second vac vaccination shot for my dad today was a big deal. That, that was my win for the day. And while I was there at the, at the pharmacy, oh my God. I bought this delightful <laughs> copper bracelet. Which is terrible and should never be worn by anybody. Which, for some reason, is sold at a pharmacy? Like, it's supposed to have magical medical powers or, or something? But no, it just looks super badass and turns... It does not. It turns Snoo into a hater. So. I just don't see it as appealing as you do. Hater. Hey! <laughs> Kate says, hey, congratulations on your dad getting his second vaccine. That is wonderful. I'm so happy for y'all. Thank you. I am happy too. And I, my dad will be the happiest when he can just, like, be around us relatively normally again. Maybe even give some hugs. Hope so. Snoo was just pointing out earlier, he has not hugged his granddad since... February. February. There you February. go. February. It has... Okay. <laughs> it's not good. There's an R in that word, though. February. I say February. That's fair. People say February, and I don't get it. Many, many people say it both ways. It really doesn't matter. It just doesn't make any sense. Kate says, 
it turns Snoo into a hater made me laugh. It should, because damn, it, it has that magical power to turn Snoo into a hater. Hey. Why do I need money for this? I need a bunch of rings. Oh, she also says she's uh, sorry to hear about my bad day yesterday as well. Yeah, that was a... Uh, wow. It was a whole thing. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime, not on stream. Um... But she says, chat hugs for Da's Da, right on. Yeah. We call him Grand Da. We do call him Grand Da, and he's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, thank you. That's just... It's relieving. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything that I would have rather done for my dad than make it possible for us to see him regularly uh, again. So that will be good. Where's the next thing I need to go to? Oh, yeah, you can store these things and get rings. Are you in a casino? I'm in a casino, and I'm supposed to get enough rings to uh, lift myself up and get the Chaos Emerald. Can I see some ID? Because you look like you're about 13. Uh, Sonic is 15 in the game. Legally, he is 15. Okay, you have to be 21. How does that help? Uh, because <laughs> most of his games have casino levels. He can't be there. Security! <coughs> But da. No, security. But my da. I love the snoo. I love my da. You love my bracelet? No, your bracelet sucks. <laughs> I'm going to write a negative review about your bracelet on Yelp. Wow. What will it say? Uh, it will say your bracelet sucks. And that's all. Based on... The fact that your bracelet is terrible. Da. What? Da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there was something I was going to say. I'm guessing it would be obnoxious. It's not obnoxious, though. It was actually something important. Huh, okay. Uh, case I'm surprised says... <laughs> that I can make a convenient point. I am. I just expected obnoxious. Kate says, uh, but humans have to be 15. How old do hedgehogs have to be? That's a good question. We should calculate his 15 years of age into hedgehog years. Technically, he's like 40 years old or something. Yeah, I mean, for dogs, it, I believe it's a one to seven year ratio. So, yeah, hedgehogs are probably similar. Yeah. So he'd be like 105 if it happens to be 1 to 7, like dogs. So this is uh, a thing. Tails looks dopey. He does look dopey. Do, do, do. Look at my new gambling. I'm gambling. I love it. Thanks, Dad. What could go wrong? Oh yeah, I think I was going to say, I'm so happy that you support my gambling tag. Of course I do, <laughs> son! You always support it on underage gambling. Look, here's your college fund. Go piss it away, please. <laughs> Go to the dog track. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the horse races. Yeah. Do, do, do. T kickback. Dude, dude, dude. I should not do that because that's not going to earn me any money. So, Kate, how's the rest of the family? Yeah. Is, is everyone there uh, together? What do you got going? Let us know your situation, please. What the? What the hell? I thought I got lost out of the mind. Dude. 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 And did you guys have to leave home? Yeah. Or, or are you, you know, comfortable now at, at like the family compound? <laughs> Dr. Eggman is rude. Look at him sticking his tongue out. <laughs> He's... He's like me when I was a baby, when Mommy took that picture. Except that was adorable. That was adorable, I have to admit. Yes. Ring 3K. Because Tiny Snoo. Tiny Snoo, who doesn't even have hair yet, 
sticking his tongue out at his mother. And being cute. Being really cute. So I have to get three in a row? You can't even just get two in a row? Oh, on the um, slot machine? Yeah. Oh, you're going somewhere. The, I've always loved the fact that Sonic has been so intertwined with pinball and stuff because I've had a fascination with pinball for a while. You used to have a pinball machine. I did? Oh, I remember! Yeah! Yeah, actually, um, Grandma got that for you. I remember that. I vaguely remember you used to playing with it because I was small. You did like it. I, wanna, I might want to get one of those again. That was, um, a thoughtful gift from it, Grandma. It was. I played that to death. I bet we lost it. <laughs> I remember... When I was a kid, we got a, uh, a broken miniature pinball game from my mom, your grandmother, from her childhood, and it, it had a glass top on it that was cracked, so it was like sharp, and we, we would cut ourselves on it, <laughs> and, wow. and so forth, yeah, it was like, here kids! Play with this disgusting old thing that could probably kill you. Yeah, it was like my mom was Dan Aykroyd from SNL being like, here, play with bag of glass. Bag of glass. You know, just like, here, kids, cut yourselves. Yeah, cut yourselves on a pinball machine you shouldn't be playing with. <laughs> it was, you know, it was kind of fun, though. <laughs> When we weren't cutting ourselves. Yeah, it's fun when you didn't get glass stuck in your hand. Yeah, when we weren't actively bleeding, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> you know, it was, it was pretty good. When we didn't have to go to the ER. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, if we could staunch the bleeding long enough to finish the game, then it was fun. Um, <laughs> Kate says, well, my brother is back at his apartment, which has power as well. Good, that's excellent. Yeah. Holler to Joe, dude. who I've never personally met, but I assume he's a good dude. Yeah, he sounds like one. Um, she says, I think most of Houston, 98% has power now. I'm still at my parents' place only because of my back. Uh, but my apartment has power as well. That is very, very good news. My parents are fine, if not very stressed out. Same with everyone else. And fun fact, El Paso doesn't use pow power solely from Texas's grid and never lost power. Yeah, that, that frickin' checks out because that's how power grids work. Yeah. Like if there's a failure at one point... You can just switch to another. More comes from the other ones. Yeah, <laughs> gosh. Ah, Texas. Um, Kate says... I'm hoping Galveston has power and water. They got screwed by this worse than everyone. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, yeah. It's, it's a bad situation with a lot of politicians not working on behalf of their constituents. <coughs> Ted Cruz, Greg Abbott. Yeah. That's a fact. <sighs> and Dan Patrick is just the biggest tool on earth. He's like an even dorkier Jeb Bush. Oh, how can he be dorkier than Jeb Bush? You gotta be Dan Patrick. <laughs> That's how that works. God, I remember him being in the twenty, like the twenty fifteen, uh, whatever. I think it was the RNC thing or whatever. Like he was Jeb Bush. Yeah, Jeb Bush. Was it his please clap moment? <laughs> Where he, like, did a zinger. He's like, I got my one-liner that they coached me on. Here it is. <laughs> and then it just went, wah, 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 wah. And he's like, please clap. <laughs> and that was literally, that second was the end of his campaign. Oh, wait, no, I mean the, the Republican debates. Like, he was always there, and he always looked so stupid and he, just dorky. He just looked intimidated by... <laughs> Donny dipshit. He looked intimidated by everything. Um, let's see here. Kate says, listen to Da explaining things harder. <laughs> That's right. Full force explanation coming from Science Da here tonight. Uh, and Kate further adds, excuse my lam language, but fuck Ted Cruz. <laughs> uh, 
and she goes on, fuck Greg Abbott, and fuck their excuses. That yeah. is all correct. That is all correct. Chat hugs. Chat hugs for Kate. Yep. And chat hugs for fuck Greg Abbott and Ted Cruz. Because terrible, terrible people. So I have to go into the mystic ruins with this. Ha ha. At least you're not running backward up that stairway and trying to break through a wall. Ah, this is not Mario 64. That's all I care. That it's not that. Da. Yes? If we have to do that again, I'm making you wait through it because you hate it so much. You already did make me wait through it. More. more. There is no more. There is a lot more that could <laughs> be done. Oh my god, just please stop. Please stop. <laughs> Where the hell am I supposed to put this? I've been sort of playing this on autopilot because Kate's here. Yeah, that makes sense. Finally, she's here. Yeah, and I'm happy about that because I was worried and... Yeah, we missed you last night. Yeah. Thank you for being here this time. Oh, I have to use the rock. We had a failed attempt. Uh, wow, this looks cool, by the way. Uh, what? Just this part of the game. A lot of this game is really good looking. Yeah, so far there's been some cool uh, graphics for sure. They actually went down to uh, South America in certain parts that looked like this to get an idea for what they wanted for the game. Cool. Anyway, um, yeah, last night we tried uh, Super Mario Sunshine, and it was terribly lame. It was so lame. <laughs> for two reasons, though. One, the game is just terribly lame. Yeah. And secondly, Kate didn't have power, so she wasn't here for the stream. But, like, I, uh, I was the one to play it, and there's just, it's not fun. It's not fun as a connoisseur, a person that likes most things Mario. It's terrible. But are you telling me it would have been more fun if Kate had been here? It would be more fun because we could make fun of it with Kate. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. Because she's awesome and she makes the terrible things a lot better. It's kind of our brand. Yeah, Kate. In the meantime, she says, Aw, Boomer woke up and looked at me when Da said chat hugs. Aw. <laughs> that is an aw. That's a definite yeah. aw. She heard Cat whisper Da, and she agreed. And then chat hugs back to us. Chat hugs. Yay. Probably at the end of this stream, we're going to need to hop onto Reddit and go on the Snoo and Da subreddit, because I, you, I think you would really enjoy the discussion we had. Okay, I on probably that, would. On that last thing. I'm trying to get to places that I have no idea where they are. Oh, boy. Um, We're only beginning this game. Is it all going to be just no. like, okay? No. It's not that bad. It's terrible, but it's not that bad. So, um, Kate, since you're here, I am not sure whether or not I've already mentioned this, but... Snoo here just made the honor roll at his school. Oh, we mentioned that like two weeks ago. All right, I'm mentioning it again without shame. Yeah, because it's awesome. And but I got a certificate in the mail today. He did. It came in the mail. And they're like, hey, buddy, you don't suck. <laughs> You're one of the few <laughs> students that does your work. That's right. So You do the bare minimum to not make crap of your teachers. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, though, there's so many kids that do, and I don't understand it. It's online. It's super easy. Barely an inconvenience. You know what, though? Credit to you that you have been pretty diligent about that since that's been the situation. So. And I can still keep a decent life on my own just doing what I want because it's an online school. And, like, I was just talking uh, to your buddy Armand from Ohio. <gasps> <laughs> wow, what a good dogs moment. I was talking to his father uh, the other day, and, uh, you know, uh, his son, your friend Armand from Ohio, Docs. is going to your school that you went to last year, and I was like, what about, like, the burdensome uh, workload that they put on the kids there? And he was like, no, nah, like, kind of, it was like the old, uh, well, back in my day, that's what we did, and I went to that school... And, and, and I was like, okay, but, like, Snoo went from there to, like, 
seriously being burdened by an undue amount of work to oh, yeah. to just making the honor roll uh, at his new school. So I brought that up. I was like, Snoo's killing it. I am killing it. But killing it, yo, even. I feel like now's a good time to talk about that previous school, which we will not dox, but that guy that he was talking to was one of the first students in the middle school program for that school. Wait, say that again? Uh, the person you were talking to. Okay. Armand from Ohio's dad. Right, I'm uh, so doxed. Kate says I missed those dox fails, lol. Yeah, that's our specialty. Uh, but yeah, he was one of the first students in the middle school program for that specific school. Yeah, which I guess he liked it and uh, apparently had the same teacher you had? Yeah, she's been doing stuff since 1994, but it's just, it doesn't work that well, in my opinion. It was just, it was a lot, it was like a new fundraiser every freaking week. So, yeah. That had mandatory participation from the students. Man and if you didn't do it, the other students, almost every single student except to the one person that I talk to regularly because he's awesome. You mean Ian from Ohio? Ian from Ohio, he's yeah. awesome. <laughs> right. Everyone else got mad at me. Or at least were passive aggressive to me because I didn't give money to a school that I just went to. That we were already paying to go to. Yes, I don't have faith in the school enough to give them more money for something I don't want to do. It was just weird. It was borderline sweatshop. One of the last things I did in person at that school was do a, a full pasta dinner for more than a hundred people. Yeah. And there were kids there that I worked with that were like, go around and annoy people to give them dessert because that's how that's how they were giving dessert to people. So you could sell them, you could upsell them to some dessert? Yes, I could upsell them dessert, and everyone didn't want more dessert because oh. everyone was going around being like, hey, here's some more dessert in your pie hole. Right. They don't want it. No, I get it. I, I literally <sighs> actually used to be a waiter, and yeah. they would try to make us upsell everybody, and it's just like... It people don't want that. It's even worse when you're, when you're an actual waiter, though, because you're working for tips... But the company, who isn't paying you, demands that you go annoy the customers who are paying you by trying to sell them dessert that will benefit the company, but not you. And so, yeah, it, but no, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. In the meantime, Kate had previously said, previously on um, Kate, <laughs> um, <laughs> Dom Braggs are always welcome. I made the honor roll once in my life in college, so congratulations to Snoo, that's awesome. Well, congratulations to you as well, then, on also making the honor roll. Yeah. This is Snoo's first time, but we're very happy about it. And I'm very happy that you did that as well. Is this where I have to go? I don't think it is. That looks like a um, compost heap. It sort of looks like it. Or like a, a giant bird's nest kind of thing? What is that? I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Jump in there. See what happens. I jumped in there. Nothing happened. Oh, well, that's... That's boring. What? I don't know. It's just sort of there. There's a bunch of things in this game that just sort of exist for no reason. Um... Blur, 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 blur. Kate says, I've missed those docs fails. I think I read that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm familiar with upselling desserts as well. I can't believe we all have experience with that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, sheesh. When I was a waiter back in the day, that company paid me $2.13 an hour and demanded that I annoy customers to try and upsell so they could make more money and I would make less because the customers were annoyed. So yeah, not the best system. I don't recommend uh, being a waiter. <laughs> Kate says, now I want to know what upwelling is because she accidentally made a typo of that earlier. It's when you get out from a well, like Timmy, for instance. I assume it's a Texas thing where... <laughs> Like, there's just so much oil under that entire state that it's constantly upwelling. <laughs> it's about to poke out of your backyard at any given moment in geyser form. I don't know how that doesn't happen on King of the Hill. Yeah, it should. Like, if it's supposed to be a true documentary, in quotes. 
Lewis. Then. Oh my God! So that yeah, that brings us to the King of the Hill portion of our stream tonight. Yes. Today's episode was the one where all of the neighborhood adolescents or prepubescents had to go with their fathers to kill a deer so they would be considered adults. Yeah, men specifically. So Snoo, you're never growing up, buddy. Wow, thanks, Dad. I'm also never growing up. I will never be an adult. I have not ever killed a deer for sport. Or any other yeah, reason. I was any other reason. I was just going to say, <laughs> I don't think you've killed anyone or anything before. Nope. Granda has, though. <clears throat> well, he's a lot older than you. Yeah, so. Granda, when he was um, in his early 20s, went to Canada and shot a deer and... The deer hide is somewhere in Grandaz's house. I'm sure we'll see it again someday. But, uh, yeah, he's done that. I have not, so apparently I'm not an adult. And neither are you. Sure. Okay, the ice stone is taken by the player of the tunnel. That oh, you're trying to figure out what to do. I don't know what to do. I've been wandering around for like ten minutes. We've been having such a good time. It's fine. Yeah, we have. And I guess I should get to the second part of my uh, experiences. Well, there's two parts to it. The first, these are completely unrelated, but first part, there were multiple confirmed Trump kids at that school, which is the first time that I had ever been in the same class with people that had no sense of actual oh, justice. Oh, oh, you mean children of Trump-supporting people were at your school last year? Yes, but they fully supported him. Like, they weren't yeah, just... they don't fucking know anything, though. You know? They were very adamant about it, though. Yeah, no, that's how Trump supporters work. They don't know anything, and they're very adamant. <laughs> that is literally the definition of a Trump supporter. Knowing nothing, but being very adamant. But yeah, there were multiple Trump kids there. And then secondly, this is the first thing that I had to sell. They were pizza pies, and you had to sell like ten of them. Yeah. Each person. I remember it. Like... I wasn't going to sell to individual people because who the hell do I know that would want to eat a pi ten pizza pies? Or whatever. I, it was something relating to pizza. It's a pizza pie. It's a terrible offer. It was just weird child labor violations, basically. It was. That whole school was about weird child labor violations. So we should, uh, I don't know, have you gained the information you need here? We I, should... just, I haven't been looking. Okay. Kate, we'll be back to you in a moment. Snoo is doing some real-time research on what to do with the magical crystal he found. So we, we'll, I wish we could play Herb Alpert in the meantime. Okay, so it's to be taken by the player to the tunnel that leads to the Mystic Ruins Angel. I need a video for this. The wiki is not making any sense. Uh, Kate says... Uh, in quotes, the king of the hill portion of our stream, end quote. I love this stream, lol. Huh. Yeah, because we have that. That's a main part of our stream. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so is this correct? Okay, this is after the casino cutscene. Oh, no, you don't. Ha 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 what in the world are you doing? Ha 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 ha. Bobby, what are you doing, boy? Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Oh, one thing that I, I especially enjoyed during today's episode of King of the Hill uh, the Hill's neighbor, Connie Supinusophone, also had to go with her father, Con, to go kill a deer. Uh, and she and Bobby were discussing that ahead of time, and he was like, I'm going to leave uh, as a boy and come back as a man after killing a deer. And she was like, well, you're lucky because I'm leaving as a girl and, and coming back, back as, as a man. man. <laughs> <laughs> so not really fair to Connie Supinusophone. Okay, so where is that supposed to go? Uh, okay, so you go down. Okay, so you do go to the rocks, but there's no ice stone thing to put it in. Do you have to give it to the guy? 
You just take it there? What? That's stupid! Okay, that's, that's stupid game design. I, I went in there. I was checking in there multiple times. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I mean. That is a stupid game design. Because with these stones, you have to put them somewhere. So you go in here. There's nowhere to put them in here. And I was thinking, oh, I maybe have to give it to the guy. No, you don't give it to the guy. You fly up with it to somewhere that you have no idea where you're going. For someone that has never completed the game before, that is idiotic game design. Just no question. And then that's where you put it, but just... They should have given a hint for something like that, because they don't tell you. Okay, what's, what's down here? Nothing. It's a giant door that doesn't do anything. There's a thing in chat that Kate wrote, I will leave da to say it because I'm mad about a game. <laughs> Ice cap. It seems like Snoo's going to have to do some uh, research and practice for this game to become a recurring series. Uh, I don't know about that, Chief. Are you chiefing me? I don't like chiefing you, anyone, but I'm going to chief you. Well, okay there, boss. <laughs> boss? <laughs> yep. Fine. So let's see here. Uh... <laughs> Kate says, the king of the hill portion of our stream. I love the stream. Oh, I heard you say that one. Yeah, I did. Part of it when I was taking a leak. Leak. Uh, did you read the next one? I did not. Okay, she says, speaking of, king of the hill was relevant to the discussion Snoo and I had earlier. And yeah, as Da said, Dunning-Kruger and Trump supporters seem to overlap quite a bit. Yes, they do. Of course they do. Nearly 100% on the Venn diagram. As Science Da would say. Science Da. Venn diagrams and such. Yeah. Oh, ice caps. And stalactites. Stalactites. Whoa. Stalactites. Stalagmites. <laughs> For some reason, it is stalagmites. And stalactites. Yes. I still don't get that. I don't either, but there it is. Fun fact, a homing attack was introduced in Sonic Adventure because <laughs> 3D camera. <laughs> All right. I Fun mean, fact. This is cool graphics for, for the uh, era. This was released in 1998. It, it's a nice upscale, too, though. It is a really nice upscale. Yeah. It works well. Yeah. On our Reddit discussion, we were talking about stupid people and other things. Would you... Care to elaborate? I want to save it for when we can actually see it. Because I know that you would enjoy it. Okay. Alright. Let's do that. Uh, I want to get to Speed Highway. At least then it's actually fun to go fast. Well, as Ricky Bobby said, if you ain't first, you're, you're last. last. <laughs> wow. Which has never been correct. It's never been correct. <laughs> unless you were in a, a two-person race. <laughs> that is true. That would be the exception. Or if you're in a one-person race and choose to lose. Uh, that would be impossible. It would be impossible, but it goes <laughs> without saying, I guess. It, it should go without <laughs> saying. <laughs> But it goes with saying. <laughs> that would be my preference, that it goes without saying, but, you know. <laughs> you know, it just has to happen like that. Can't have everything. No, you can't. Uh, Kate says, I wouldn't have ever guessed this was released in 1998. Pretty impressive for that time, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. I agree. And again, this is uh, an upscale, well... Technically to 4K on our end, but then downgraded to 720p to be broadcast, but still better than the original uh, resolution. Which was like 
not even 240, I think. It was probably around that. Wow. Well, well, then, yeah, she's right. This looks fantastic. And this came out on the Dreamcast, which was the first uh, console in the generation of, like, the Xbox and PS2. It had similar hardware. So they ported it to um, GameCube? Yeah. In 2001, they discontinued the Dreamcast and were like, hey, we should still release our games. So they put it on Nintendo platforms. Yeah, that makes sense. Because, you know, Sega likes money. They're actually in a bit of a rut right now. Because money, though. Money's tight. It is. Are you having money problems? <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so I have to... No! Oh, my snoo! God, I have to do that section over and over again. Yeah, but, but you get to be all bouncy, bouncy now. I don't. Unfortunately. Ah. <sighs> Snoo! Da! It's my da! I love you! Fruitful conversations and things. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh, what? I'm gonna take a picture of my awesome bracelet. Oh, God. And we're gonna view it on stream. Do, please don't. Nope. Do da, da, I said don't. Ah. People get to view if that is actually a terrible bracelet. What if they say it's a terrible bracelet, though? I still will not care. But you should. Online people have such an important opinion. Kate's opinion is much higher than most internet people's, but still. <laughs> internet. I don't know why he's going to do this, because it it's still not a good bracelet. <laughs> and it was probably not very expensive, given that he bought it at a drugstore. I did! While taking my dad to get vaccinated. Because I'm a good son. The getting vaccinated... The... Oh! Oh, that reminds me of the person that said that, uh, that's terrible. Oh, yes. <laughs> so he was, um... I don't remember... Oh, yeah, he was going to, uh... I went to the vape store because I'm not a smoker anymore. He's not a smoker since summer of 2019. Correct. Uh, and so the young lady, 20-something, early 20s, I'm guessing, and her friend, same age, who works there, asked me what I had been up to today at the time. And I was like, oh, I just uh, took my father to get his second dose of, of the vaccine. And I was like, waiting for the, oh, that's wonderful. Maybe life can get somewhat back to normal. And they're like, that's terrible! <laughs> and I was like, what? When, when you said that, I almost thought that it, they were anti-vaxxer people. That's what I thought. I was like, what in the world are you talking about? That's terrible! And then she was kind of like, well, but that's when a lot of times people get some symptoms. And I was like, yeah, but not COVID, though, where you die if you're my father's age. Yeah. So that was weird, but whatever, they're fine. However, neither of those young women, early 20s, uh, were wearing masks, even within their place of employment, which just... Should be illegal, and God, it is illegal. It is. Just, God damn it, people, how complicated is this? It's been since April. It's a known thing, so just get your act together. Look at you snowboarding. I'm snooboarding. You are snooboarding. I'm boarding on a snoo. I, I hope not. Poor snoo. No, but not actually a snoo, but like snow as snoo, because you guys call snow snoo sometimes. Uh, fair enough. Ah, there's a Kate thing. I'm going to read it, but you got to put my glasses on first. <clears throat> da. Kate says, okay, the upscaling makes sense, but it's still pretty. Agreed. Yeah. We, we definitely both agree with you on that. And she adds words. And things. And you all reminded me of my favorite, slightly out of context conversation on this stream, which is snoo, colon, I don't want to be a sellout. Duh, colon, but, but money, money, though. <laughs> That's where I'm being producer guy from uh, the Ryan, Ryan George. George pitch meeting series, yes. Yeah, that's where we get many of our jokes. It is, because they're funny. Like the one about the uh, puppets of war. 
<laughs> yes. That was, that was uh, originally a uh, rhinoceros's war joke. Yes. War puppets. <laughs> you know, puppets, puppets of war. war. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually is almost infinitely funnier than rhinoceroses of war. Oh yeah, definitely. Because puppets of war. Puppets of war. <laughs> I love literally everything about that. That was the uh, Black Panther pitch meeting. Uh, Kate says, Puppets of War needs to be a thing. Oh, it's a thing. Well, I mean, we already made it a thing, because yeah. that wasn't clear. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Ah, my dog. My snoo. My dog. We're playing a thing. We're playing a thing. Kate says, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it does, though. It does. So actually, this is the first part of the game that I've literally no idea what to do. Okay, can you pause? Yes. All right. Oh no! Yeah. No, no, no! Back up there, Mister. No! Don't do this. Too late. Don't do this to everyone. It's too late. It's not too late. I can take that phone right off that charging cable. We're, we're all committed now. We are not committed to anything, especially not you. Uh, ah! No, don't! <laughs> Stop it. Have at you, sir. No, why, why are you talking like that? Because I'm a pirate. You're not a pirate. You're a puppet of war. That's even better. That's way cooler. Because then you have, like, a puppet gun. Uh-huh. It shoots smaller puppets. <laughs> the puppet that shoots smaller puppets. That would be the best ever. It's, Why is that not already a thing? I bet it is. I mean, you don't know. Okay. Why do you have to do this? So I can shame you. Oh, look. It's my snoo. Uh, yeah, this is my actual face reveal. This is what I look like as of current day. It's true. There you go. He's jamming. It's my real face reveal. And that's the keyboard that I use. That's our snoo. Yeah. Oh, no. You have two different pictures. <laughs> okay, so there's the, the much reviled uh, copper bracelet. Not in its its fully copper form. Here we go. It looks like a Gucci item. That looks worse. It does looks, look. It does look worse. It does absolutely look worse. It does. So I'm going back to the other one where it looks amazing. <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't look good there either. <laughs> That's why I, I said it doesn't look good because it doesn't look good in specific light. I I look fantastic. That's your hand. I want to do me. No, that's... <laughs> are you fetishizing yourself? Yes. Wow, that's creepy as hell. Fully. So there you it's go. Like the weirdest form of narcissist porn. Well, you get the dad you get. No, I don't. <laughs> Stop it. I have to go to therapy. <laughs> yeah, well, that's coming out of your pocket. No, you've got to help me. This is your fault. <laughs> That's your fault, buddy. Let's see here. Kate says, Duh, the magical cat whispering science pirate. OMG. I could not agree more. Kate said it all. She did say it all. And she also says, Hey, Snoo. Hey, Kate. Hey to both of you. Yeah. So I'm back in here. All right, so... I'm just going to kick back and wait for the compliments about my amazing bracelet Your to roll bracelet in. Sucks. Yeah, they're just going to roll in where everyone is like, oh my God, you've changed my life with your stupid bracelet. <laughs> and uh, so that's what I'm waiting for. Oh, is this the Knuckles fight? This is the Knuckles fight! Uh, I assume that's a good thing. <laughs> the face model sucks so much. Okay. That was a tip. <laughs> the way that the character oh. models speak in this game is just terrible. I just enjoy pre-fight trash talk. 
that's a thing that I'm all in for, so... Okay, so now we have to hit Knuckles. It's not even that hard. Are you asking me? I'm asking everyone out there that loves Knuckles. Knuckles, shut up! Did I hit him? Okay, I hit him. Alright, Kate says apologies to Snoo, but I actually love that bracelet! You go, girl. Oh, no, Kate, that's a wrong opinion. Uh, it's, no, that was the right one. And Boomer came back for a nap just now, so I'm thinking she does, too. <laughs> nice. Yes, I think all of that is correct. We lost the Chaos Emeralds, and Dr. Eggman appears out of nowhere to grab them. But we gained nearly universal acclaim for my bracelet. No, your, play, your bracelet is terrible. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's wrong and you're wrong. <laughs> How dare you, sir? How dare you wear that bracelet in public? Kate is a very respected member of this chat. Not a respected member of the bracelet community. Have you seen her post to r slash bracelet? They're terrible. Wow. <laughs> you, you, you've changed my mind? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, have changed your mind. <sighs> <coughs> Yeah, I'm dissing your posts on r slash bracelet, Kate. What are you going to do? Wow. It's on now. I have four lovely emeralds. Between Snoo and Kate. We're going to fight chaos now. It's a goopy goo of water. You know, that thing we fought before, but now it's chaos too. I don't know what that means. It means that, uh, this and it turns into something new, and it also seems to have a skeletal structure, which doesn't make any sense because it's made of water. Ah, he transformed again! Man, he, no one ever cuts us any slack. Is he a car now? He transformed? <laughs> <laughs> He's Optimus Prime. Yeah, like maybe there's a product placement opportunity. Or maybe he's Megatron because he sort of is like a water gun at some point in the game. But he's also kind of a squid? He? Yeah, vaguely. Okay, what am I what am I supposed to do though? Oh, I'm supposed to hit him! Uh lily pad things. <laughs> lily pad things. Yeah, do that. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. The bosses are actually easier than I remember them. I'm here you. for you. Yeah. <clears throat> See, this is absolutely the problem I would have with this game. Is that I would have not the faintest clue what I'm even supposed to be doing. Which is what you just expressed. And you're an actual fan of this game. I'm very much fan of this game, but at least I can sort of follow because, you know, the stories, you just sort of move places and then things happen. So you can at least tell sometimes what things you're supposed to do. But it's not always super clear. Ah, let's see here. Kate says... You're... Oh, in the... Oh! In the bracelet community, I am a villain. <laughs> there you go, Snoo. That's how you were trying to paint her. And she says I'm the Dr. Eggman of the bracelet community. You definitely are. <laughs> I bet there's an r slash bracelet somewhere. In That's there. what I admire most about I'm you. I'm gonna put Kate. some uh, propaganda against Kate on r slash bracelet. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kate. Time to start that anti Kate campaign we've been planning. <laughs> Now's the time. Anti Kate campaign when she's literally our only viewer. Execute Order 66. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> That is literally an Order 66 thing. Yeah. Star Wars reference, Kate, if you weren't uh, on board for that. Oh, I got him. Woo! Haha. You're Will Smith? I'm Will Smith. That. All right, then. Oh, yes. 281. So, wait, who was mad about Harry Styles wearing a dress? The right wingers. Okay, so then are they equally mad about... Um, Jaden Smith wearing a dress? Oh, he did? 
Oh, for sure. That was, oh. This is like a whole thing. All right. Well, I'm, right-wingers get mad at any man that's not fully masculine. Though. They do, which, you know, I've tried to explain this to my brother before, who is... Just, Very far right. He's just a weird right-winger who doesn't actually think about his political positions. But here's the deal on that. Clothing does not have an inherent gender. It's just cloth that you wear. Yeah, I mean, like... You could say a skirt, that's a very girly thing to wear. But if you tell a Scotsman that about his kilt, okay, that's a super manly thing to wear that looks like a Catholic schoolgirl skirt. I was literally just watching a video and they made that same point. Really? Yeah, because they were just thinking about the kilt and decided to... Because yeah. that's the same thing. That's the same thing. There is literally no inherent gender to clothing. That is... Completely a, a fictional construction, so I don't give a crap what uh, Jaden Smith or the other guy, Harry Styles. Harry Styles, wear. It doesn't mean anything. It really, if you care about that, good for you because you have no real problems. No, you do not. You're super privileged. Yeah, must be nice is all I could say. Okay, so am I supposed to go back to the main world? But I got stuck. Ah. But yeah, they just they they get mad at a lot of things that don't matter. Oh, I just realized. <clears throat> I know a Harry Styles thing. You do? <clears throat> yeah. So that means I'm super hip to the the kids. The kids. Uh huh. Harry Styles, or at least according to a headline of an article I didn't read, uh, is now dating Olivia Wilde, the the former wife of Jason Sudeikis, uh, who, you know what, I'm just going to Google her age so I don't get it wrong. All right, because Harry Styles is... Well, I she, think she's a grown woman. Okay, well, Harry Styles is 30. Or around that. Yeah, but she's like what a child would call a MILF. Go to the mystic... What do you mean go to the mystic ruins? There's nothing there! It cracks me up, the, the women who are referred to as MILFs. Oh. Who, many of which are like 25. So, I don't know. Let's see here. Let's find out the age of Olivia Wilde. Well, I try and figure out this game. Sure. Because I'm still confused. Am I supposed to go to Twinkle Park? Okay, I'm not supposed to go. Oh, to my gosh. 36. So, actually, still pretty young. Yeah, they're both, like, five years apart. Okay, so I guess, I don't know. Somebody's probably mad about it. Okay, so just to hold off on the hairstyles thing... This character is the reason we're not playing the full game and basically only playing a few of the characters. Froggy? This is Big the Cat. Okay. And his story is terrible. All of it is just fishing missions. And that's boring as hell because you're trying to get back your pet frog who doesn't like you. But he literally just called you Froggy, which was your first nickname ever. Yes, because I was a baby and my legs frogged up. Yeah. And my mom didn't know if they were going to come back. <clears throat> no, not your mom. Well, uh, yeah, it was your mom. Um, uh, yeah, so when Snoo was a tiny baby and he had been inside of another person for a while, <clears throat> his legs were bent because of that uh, at the time. Like, at the knees, though, not like weirdly. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, my mother, uh, Snoo's grandmother, gave him the name Froggy. And my wife asked if the uh, legs would turn out to be normal, and, and, uh, and I told her I thought that they probably would. You know, because I, I walk around. And, yeah, they're fine, by the way. Yeah, I, I can walk. Yep, he's a perfect, he has good posture. I'm a perfectly normal 13-year-old boy with uh -huh. legs that work. No deformities to oh, speak of. Oh, that reminds me. When yeah. both of you thought that half of me might not be there. Oh, my gosh, yes. We, we went to go see a uh, genetic counselor uh, during the pregnancy that resulted in snoo. 
and there was a very confusing um, book that they gave us where it said there might be left side missing and so we thought like the whole left side of this baby <laughs> like it could be cut in half is that a genetic abnormality that we might be facing here and and, and i think it was just the picture like part of it was missing but yeah that freaked us the hell out and was not properly explained by the doctor uh let's see here uh kate says i didn't hear former in former wife former wife oh yeah with uh, olivia wilde yeah. so i just thought harry styles was dating someone's wife yeah, no, uh, Olivia Wilde, apparently, uh, and uh, Jason Sudeikis got a divorce. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, it happens. I'm sure they had their reasons. Um, she adds, I don't like the idea that I can be a MILF and could have <laughs> ten years ago, but I also don't care for the most part about my age. Yeah, that's a very good reaction. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess if you're a MILF, that, that means... Somebody thinks you're hot. <laughs> it's just weird. It's funny to me. Like, I don't know. As I become an older gentleman, like, MILFs, <laughs> MILFs are like, look barely legal to me. I don't know. A lot of the time, so. And I still don't know what the acronym means, but I've heard it. Oh, mother, I would like to. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like meaning, mean, yeah, that's that's how I'm doing that. <laughs> you're welcome. Is that what you did to mine? You're welcome for that. <laughs> But it's, you know, it, it seems to it seems to involve anyone over about 25 being assumed to be a mother of some child or another, and you know, there there are single 25 year old women. I'm pretty sure that's a thing, right? I, I still can't get over the wah wah. Mother, I'd like to wah wah. <laughs> Did you manage to figure it out anyway, though? Despite the no, I still think I, I still think you mean blow bubbles. Yes, blow bubbles is exactly. Mother, what. I'd like to blow bubbles with. <laughs> exactly. See, Snoo gets it. Oh yeah. What a fine young lad. This is. I'm. I'm at a uh, stalemate or whatever. I still need to find where I'm going. Okay, so I just... All right, can we do a save point here and pick yeah. up... Yeah, because let's, let's just do that. Um, Kate, I think we're about to... Uh, let's see here. She says... <laughs> she says, from now on, that's what F means to me. The song Da sang. I love that. <laughs> I, you know what? I love that. That is perfect. There's no better way to end this stream. Um, Kate, thank you for joining us again. We're very happy to hear that um, you are back in uh, better living conditions now than you were a day or two ago. Uh, we will be picking up again with um, Sonic Adventure DX. Sonic Adventure DX, yeah. Part 2 next time. Um, so... Be safe, stay warm, chat hugs. Chat hugs. Snoo, do you have anything to add? Or actually, wait, before. Okay. I'm, uh, I was just trying to make sure I'm safe. Okay, I'm saved. And yes, Kate, that is the correct way to type. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kate's going to stream on Saturday. Yes, yeah, she. I, I was asking her about it, and then uh, she didn't. She said she wasn't going to do it today, which leads me to my next point. Just before we end the stream, we have to look at the Reddit thing. Oh, all right, go ahead. Yes, because that's one of the things we talked about on the Reddit. I'm on board. Oh, we're going to do it on screen. Yes, because for the viewers. I think people should see it. I love it. Teachers, what's the weirdest thing you've taken away from a student? 
<laughs> You've taken away their wah <laughs> wah. Uh, wow, I got to tell my son what a MILF is. Yeah, what a great dad. It's a special moment. Let's hug. <laughs> Let's hug. It's a special moment. Uh, okay, so th this is the thing that she posted later. This is more Texas things. Hi, first things, I'm fine. Still have power and water and the things I need. Just need to say a couple things. A beach town about 45 minutes from me did not have water or power for any time that I was experiencing rolling slash periodic blackouts. That time was ignored this entire time. Days without power, heat, and probably unsafe water or no water. That's the reason I recently deleted the other posts joking about the cold. Two, bad politics and policies kill people. That isn't obvious by now. I don't know what'll make it obvious. Obviously, the reasons Texas was hit so hard don't only boil down to politics, but I guarantee they don't help. And three, hey, celebrities who wanted to come to Texas for the tax rates. Tax rates. How's it looking now? Yeah, Joe Rogan. Ah, <sighs> Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. He's looking at you, buddy. He's just. I don't get him. Yeah. And uh, this is the first. I don't like being a downer, so I also want to leave something that made me smile today. I don't really care about Broadway much, but Neil Patrick Harris's performance as host of the Tonys are amazing, especially from 2013. That one made me smile without fail every time. You know, I, I can I can accept that. My wife tells me regularly that if she got the chance to cheat on me with gay dude Neil Patrick Harris, she'd be all over that. Wow. <clears throat> and I'm just like, yeah, no, it's fine. I get it. <laughs> so, you know. He's a great guy. Yeah, he is. Uh, and then I responded, It's a mess that really can't be understated for how poorly it was taken by the people that needed to fix it. I really hope Texas gets through this as safely as possible. There's already been too much damage to talk, chalk it up to green energy did it. Oh my god. Or it's not our fault Texas didn't get the help it needs. Yeah. Anyway, we're very glad that you're okay in most of the things you have you need. Uh, lots more chat hugs for today and all the days you'll need it. It says, I completely agree. Thank you for your well wishes and for everything. Y'all are fantastic. This made me smile, actually. Uh, tonight appears to be the last of the bad nights in terms of the cold for us, and our power is holding steady today and held last night, so I will plan to be at the next stream, because all reliable Kate loves tradition and laughs. Yes, she does. Side note, the most wholesome comment section on YouTube I've ever seen was on a video about the situation, and all the comments were from Northerners explaining how to, to Texans how to properly deal with the weather. <laughs> it warmed my Texas heart to see that kindness. Right on. Yeah, that's that's cool. We would know. Uh, I said, I can't wait to see what you've planned for your stream today. Hopefully that's still on. We were going to do Mario the Sunshine, but we did a one-off episode and the game was boring, lol. Uh, the new game we'll play will be a lot more fun. Laughs and stuff. Okay, but why was the game boring? It just, I can't find fun in it. Not just because the game sucked, because uh, also Kate was not here. Also Kate was not here, but it just felt like I was aimlessly chasing a goal that I could not attain. Yes. Uh, Kate says, I'm thinking I'll have to postpone my stream, and ser I sincerely wish I didn't have to, but Saturday or Sunday are looking like better days for it on my end, for a number of reasons, not all related to weather, but I'm fine and I'm grateful to be fine. I haven't finished watching your last stream, mostly to conserve phone power, but I'm going to watch it today. I hate missing them. We didn't even post that one yet. But it's on a Twitch VOD, so she can oh, still watch it through Twitch. That is true. Okay. Uh, sorry the game was boring. I wish I knew more about games so that I could make a recommendation. I think my only decent idea was the Stanley Parable, which may not even work for y'all. Regardless, I'll be there, and of course, chat hugs. I said, makes sense, although when you do end up streaming, we'll definitely be there. You'll watch it and see, like, thirty minute, in 30 minutes why we dumped the game. <laughs> it's true. Uh, and I said, of course Stanley Parable will work. It'll take a few downloads, but that's at the top of my list right now. It was a good recommendation. Forward slash food truck yeehaw, which I wholeheartedly agree with because it's a good game and Da needs to play it. Wahoo! Uh, and then this is the last of the things. She said, Holy crow, there's a YouTube compilation called Propane and Propane Accessories. I love it. I cannot stop laughing. Okay, I'm gonna need a link to this. <laughs> and at your service, y'all, tips 10 gallon hat. Nice, nicely done. We're gonna watch this. Alright, let's see it. Oh, that's not. Loud enough. Uh, we're just gonna get copyright struck. All right. There's no need. It's fine. But you get it. Yes. I do. Watch it on your own because you have to. And also, tips ten gallon hat. Yes, very nice. And then I said, this 
This is glorious! It is. She said, right? There are times every once in a while when I believe the internet is a good place. Finding that compilation and then sharing it with people I've never met, but nonetheless I know will appreciate it. That is one of those times. That's some dang old beautiful stuff I need right now. Frickin' cheers, y'all. And to end it off, I said, dang old cheers. That's all good things. And that was the Reddit thread that Kate and I had earlier in the day. So yeah, just to, uh, you know, Kate, boost your spirits like Booster would. <clears throat> um, if you think there's mismanagement only in Texas, there's also always Florida, where Governor DeSantis sent an extra 3,000 doses of the COVID vaccine to the neighborhood of his donors. And then uh, people are like, hey, that's complete horseshit. And he was like, well, if you're going to complain about it, I'll send even less to the rest of the neighborhoods. So, yeah, Florida man, vote for that frickin' clown again if you want to, and don't get the vaccine. Politics. Politics. Let's have a snoo and da hug. Snoo and da hug. There's one. All right, Kate, be well, be warm. <clears throat> we will catch you the next time, and I guess Saturday night you're going to stream, so we will be there for that. Woo! Have a wonderful evening. Uh, this has been Snoo and Da Live. He's been Snoo. And I've been Da. Good Cheers. night.